So I've got some mates from my old working class life. Although I will say, I don't remember the last time anyone ever said to me, have you read any good books lately? <laughs> I never get that question. I always get, what's the best van you've ever hired? <laughs> Mercedes Sprint, long wheelbase, good van, get you where you need to be. Um, <laughs> but I've got some mates from my old, and then they're, they're not as, they're beautiful men. They're wonderful people. When the zombies come, they're the fellas you're going to stand behind. You know, not like you lot are going to be like trying to understand the zombies. You know. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa! They're zombies, but they're people too. You know, you need the you need the fellas with the tools. You know, like, get out of the way, dickhead. Bong. You know, they're the fellas, but they're not open-minded. The rest, they just they just they have a, they're just a bit behind the times. And we meet up every couple of months. We go to this pub that we've always gone to since we were kids. And recently, they refurbished the pub. And I got up, I went to go to the toilet, and there's now gender-neutral toilets, which isn't an issue. Who gives a fuck, right? It's just the room where we go to the toilet, right? As long as we're not doing it on each other. I mean, if that's your thing, I'm not here to kink shame. You do you, right? It's up to you. you, you. I saw a fella the other day dressed as a fox having sex. I was like, how the fuck do you know you're into that? <laughs> Online. It wasn't in me bins. Like, <laughs> I was like, what's all that commotion coming from outside? Oi, do that down your own garden. John? <laughs> How's the wife and kids? Oh, sorry, Glinda, I didn't see you there. Well, good, good for you, tuck in. Um, <laughs> can't have sex dressed as a fox. I get too hot if I keep my fleece on for too long. Jesus Christ. I mean, sex dressed as a fox. Anyway, so anyway, I went, so I saw that. And because I've been going to that pub for many, many years, and because it was different, my brain just needed like, a millisecond just to adjust. And it wasn't like judgmental. It wasn't even like, I just went, I went, I sort of stopped because I was still unsure of where I needed to go. Even though it's gender neutral, you can go wherever you like. I just needed a moment. I went, huh, different. And that was it. But my mate was with me. And he's, like I say, he's the least progressive out of the bunch. And I think he was with me. I think he thought we were doing gear, which is why he was with me. And I'm like, mate. I'm 50, I can't, if I have a bath that's too hot, I'll lose an afternoon. <laughs> We've all been there, we go, oh, that was fucking hot. <laughs> oh, just give me a minute just to, oh. no, I think my feet will always be red now. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, the laughter of recognition in the room for that, it's brilliant. So he, but he saw the toilet and then he's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like, what's wrong with you now? He went, oh, I'm fucking sick of it, Richie. I'm fucking sick of it, mate. What are you sick of now? What's wrong with you? And trans people, they're fucking everywhere, and they're fucking ruining it for the rest of us. I mean, what are you on about? They're not everywhere. 0.6% of the population are trans, mate. But are you telling me that they're all in there? <laughs> He's livid. He's like, nah, mate. He goes, I've been reading. I went, no, you haven't. Not once, not ever. What are you on about? <laughs> what have you been reading? He went, well, I've been reading, mate. I've been reading about your trans people, right? And what you don't understand, Richie, right? They change, and then they attack you. <laughs> I went, nah, mate, that's werewolves. That's werewolves. <laughs> He's like, what did you say? I went, werewolves change and attack you, not fucking trans people. He goes, what do you know about it? I went, listen, I used to be a bus driver, Bromley Garage, mid-90s, right? There was a mechanic called Lynn. Lynn was a trans woman, right? And she used to work in the, in, she was a mechanic. She used to work in the bus garage, right? Very masculine area to be in. But you know what? No one gave a, no, no one gave a shit. No one batted an eyelid. It was Lynn. Lynn was a woman. Lynn told me her whole story. It was a fascinating listen. And then she used to go to the toilet and no one gave a shit. She was just Lynn going to the toilet. And he went, well, it's fucking weird. I'm not having it, right? And he went in the toilet. <laughs> so I followed him in. And then I fucked him. Because he's got a lot... <laughs> Well, he's got to learn, hasn't he? <laughs> Trans people aren't the issue. <laughs> well, that's a story for another time. Right. <laughs> I love there's a tension there. There's a fucking tension. Because you hear my accent and you go, this is not going to be good at all. <laughs> yeah, how dare you judge? How dare you? Very progressive, you see. 